हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर ट्रेनर मुस्तफा अहमद मिर्चावाला एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस क्लास इज टू डिस्कस द रीसेंट चेंज इन आई एफ आर एस फिफ्टीन आई एफ आर एस फिफ्टीन स्पेशली फॉर एफ सेवन एफ आर स्टूडेंट्स राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आर सेंग दैट दे कैन नॉट गेट द एग्जैक्ट आंसर ऑफ द एग्जाम के वॉट्स द रीजन बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन आर डिजाइन विद द ओल्ड स्ट्रक्चर so that's why you can't get the exact answer because the things are changed number 1 number 2 ifrs 15 also comes in final account and again final account questions are old in the exam kit so they are designed in, in such a way that you can you can only tally you can only tally your final sofp with the old with the old method right because the data is given in such a way and now this now the structure is changed so that's why that's why you find you find a change you find difficulty right but again i am saying complete ifrs 15 almost 99% ifrs 15 is same five stages stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 stage 5 everything is same sale and repurchase substance over form all these things are same still same no change no change only there is a little change in construction accounting hope you remember the construction accounting when i taught you guys in class i taught you in four steps if you remember the first step with the construction accounting always you used to check that the contract is in profit or loss the total contract is in profit or loss okay if profit is expected then book it according to stage of completion if loss is expected then full loss should be booked immediately right prudence then in the second stage you compute stage of completion for a stage of completion you have two methods input and output you know that right then on the third stage you used to calculate pnl you used to calculate pnl according to stage of completion and in the fourth stage you used to calculate contract asset or contract liability now this fourth stage of construction accounting is changed fourth stage of construction accounting is changed previously previously how you used to previously it was difficult now it's easy previously it was difficult now it's easy to be very honest now less working you have to do previously you used to do in such a way cost incurred to date add profit recognized to date less progress billing than you used to get it right but now it's very simple see this is the this is the sofp working this is the sofp working look at here revenue recognized to date that means whatever revenue whatever revenue you have recognized in the income statement whatever revenue you have recognized in the income statement just write it here okay and less amount invoice to date this is the exact wording amount invoice to date whatever amount of invoice you have sent to your customer the difference is your if the difference is positive then it is a contract asset and if the difference if the difference is negative then this is a contract liability this is the simplest working you have to do now the question is sir will we get will we get these things ready made in the exam yes this revenue recognize you can pick from the pnl this revenue recognize you can pick from your pnl working but be careful be careful be careful see the words it is written revenue recognize to date to date because sofp is always as at since your basic level education we have been teaching you this thing that sofp is always as at sofp is always as at remember so don't forget its revenue recognize to date to date right less amount invoice to date amount invoice to date now one thing more sometimes sometimes they give you data like this just for example look at here let me check let me use some numbers that revenue recognized to date is 1000 revenue recognized to date is 1000 amount invoice to date is 600 so your contract as it is 400 but now it is written that amount received from customer whatever i'm teaching you right now i have already i have already taught this in my lms this thing is only 
Now, what is this? Just use your brain. You sent invoice. You sent invoice to your, your customer for 600. You sent invoice to your customer for 600, but customer only paid you 400. So why customer didn't pay you full? You sent invoice of 400 to customer, but customer only paid you 400. Why the customer didn't pay you full? Because there is one thing which we call in the construction in industry that is called retention receivable construction industry worldwide worldwide i can now i can say because i have experience of us usa construction as well now it's full of errors it's full of errors everywhere say developed nation or developing nation they all are equal in the construction industry you know when you call somebody for construction and when he does the construction after sometimes you find many errors in construction after sometimes you find many errors Sometimes the other party uses the low quality material or something like that. So what we do, we keep some amount, we hold some amount of customer. We hold, we hold, sorry, we hold some amount of supplier. Like if I'm doing construction, if I'm doing, I'm giving construction service. So if I have sent you, I have sent my customer the invoice of 600. I have sent my customer the invoice of 600. So customer won't pay me complete 600 customer will hold some amount and that is called retention receivable retention receivable or sometimes in construction industry it is called retention money retention money so now first of all you need to calculate contract asset contract asset and contract asset is, as is calculated using amount invoice amount invoice so this contract asset is calculated using the amount invoice. And now there is one more thing which we call retention receivable. Look at here. Amount, wait. Amount invoice to date is 600. You sent invoice to customer for 600. But to date, customer has only paid 400. So this is called retention receivable or trade receivable sometimes people call it trade receivable retention receivable or trade receivable 200 so now what you will do in your sofp in your sofp you will post two current assets in your sofp you will post two current assets in your sofp you will post two current assets one is contract asset 400 and other is retention receivable 400 200 one is contract asset 400 and the other one is retention receivable 200 okay right now what is the difference between contract asset and retention receivable what is the difference between contract asset and retention receivable retention receivable listen this contract asset is only in our books This contract asset is only in our books. Customer doesn't know anything about it. But this retention receivable, this retention receivable is receivable in our books. And this is payable in the customer books. This is payable in customer's book. There is a corresponding payable in customer books. I repeat. For this 400 contract asset, only we know. Only we know this is our internal working. But with the retention receivable, because we send the invoice, we send the invoice of 600. We send this invoice of 600 to customer. So customer is aware is customer is aware of this 600 amount. And out of this 600, customer paid just 400. So there is a payable of 200 in the customer books. So this receivable, this 200 receivable in, is in our books and 200 payable in customer books. But, but this contract asset, but this contract asset is our internal working, okay? It's sort of prepayment. You just assume it as a prepayment. Or we did this investment on the project, right? So these are two different things. Normally in the exam, they ask contract asset. Normally in the exam, they ask contract asset. They ask contract asset, okay? Now, one last thing I, I can tell you here. There is a one shortcut people apply. Normally my recommendation and honest recommendation is always do these two workings if you get a complete question and they are asking both so do these two workings 400 is the contract asset 200 is the retention receivable this is the pure working this is the breakup 
this is the breakup which one should report so that the shareholder can identify things clearly but sometimes people what people do listen just just forget this you know the total answer is 600 400 is this 400 plus 200 the total answer is 6 4 plus 2 the total answer is 6 okay there is a shortcut what people do they simply write amount received here they simply write see the the amount received is 400 if i directly write 400 here i'll get the 600 amount contract asset here so that means if i write the amount received if i write the amount received here so i will get this 600 and this this 600 also includes retention receivable that means two things are embedded two things are combined in this 600 now 400 is the contract asset and 200 is the retention receivable but this thing is not recommended is not recommended it's a shortcut although you will get the balance sheet balance you will get the sofp balance but still you there is a chance high chance of presentation error right so what you should do, you should write amount invoiced here. So this will be 400 and then a separate working, then a separate working, this working, separate working here for retention receivable. Okay, right. Now let's move to the question. Normally in Kaplan kit, Kaplan new updated kit, I have seen, I haven't seen Kaplan updated kit, but in BPP kit, they have given the updated question so i can i can share you some examples i can share you some examples okay and i repeat it's not difficult and i will only discuss this this sofp side we are not we have already done everything we have already done everything and everything is same it's it's in our lms in learning management system everything is there stage one stage two stage three how to do construction accounting everything is same just the last step is change sofp okay. one Now, let's move to the question. This is the BPP kit question. Careaway company entered. Careaway company entered into a contract on first January X five to construct a factory to construct a factory for seed company. The total contract price. The total contract price was two point eight million. Total price right now is not relevant because you know for SOFP we need revenue recognized to date. Revenue recognized to date. Wait to generate a profit okay careaway company has enforceable right for payment in respect of the construction completed to date the contract states that the performance obligation are measured according to the certificates issued by the surveyor that means that means it's output method it's output method output method okay now careaway company measures satisfaction of the performance obligation under the contract by reference to the value of work certified as complete you know this this is output method at 31st december x5 the contract was certified by the surveyor as 35 percent the ready-made state of completion is given the ready-made state of completion is given and now use your brain use your little brain listen you know you book revenues and cost according to state of completion you book revenue and cost according to stage of completion. But for this SOFP working, you only need revenue recognized to date. So let's calculate revenue recognized to date. So how much is the total? How much is the total price? The total price is 2.8 million. The total price is 2.8 million, which is 2,800,000 ,000, times the stage of completion times the stage of completion okay let's see what's the number comes 2800000 times 35% 980000 980, is the revenue recognized to date now what you have to deduct less amount invoice very simple amount invoice to date amount invoice to date now can you see the question yes we can eight hundred thousand eight hundred thousand has been invoiced to the customer but not yet paid we have sent the invoice of eight hundred thousand but we haven't received a single penny 
So yes, we only want amount invoiced. Amount invoiced. This is eight hundred thousand. So what is your contract asset? Contract asset is one hundred and eighty thousand. So this is your answer. That's it. This is your answer. This is your answer. That's it. It's done. This is your answer. Please check. Okay, one more thing, just extra thing. If they ask you retention receivable, so complete eight hundred thousand is your ret retention receivable because what is what is written here? Eight hundred thousand has been invoiced to the customer but not yet paid. So what does it mean? It means complete eight hundred thousand is not yet paid. So complete eight hundred thousand is your retention receivable as well. But they are not asking, so just keep quiet and enjoy your life. That's it. Next, C. Sorry, first question number eighty. Question number eighty. The company recognizes the the revenue on the basis of cost incurred to date as a proportion of the total cost. Okay, that means the formula for SOC is cost incurred to date divided by total estimated cost. This is input method. They are they use input method. Students, you guys are you guys have done a lot. You have done this, I guess. You know the meaning of input method, okay? So now, what is what is cost incurred to date? Check, please. How much is the cost incurred to date? Forty-eight thousand. And what is the estimated cost to completion? What is the estimated cost to completion? It's forty-eight thousand. So I'm sure you remember this. If you want to calculate total estimated cost, total estimated cost. Remember total estimated cost. Total estimated cost means cost incurred to date plus cost to complete. Total estimated cost is cost incurred to date plus cost to complete. So forty eight plus forty eight is ninety six. Ninety six thousand is the total estimated cost. And how much cost has already been incurred? It's forty eight thousand. Cost incurred to date is forty eight thousand. So fifty percent is your stage of completion. Fifty percent is your stage of completion. Fifty percent is your stage of completion, and I'm sure you know this. Okay, now read the requirement. Whatever they are asking, just read the requirement. Only they are asking the contract asset. Only they are asking the contract asset, and there is no rocket science for this contract asset. Simple words. Simple words. Let me write again. Revenue recognized to date. Wait. We recognize revenue according to stage of completion. We recognize revenue according to stage of completion. So how we do it? Just your total contract revenue, your total contract revenue, multiply by contract revenue, multiply by stage of completion, which is fifty percent. So see, this is your revenue recognized to date. This is your revenue recognized to date. This is how we used to make the PNL. This is how we used to make the PNL. If you remember this, I yes. Now less amount invoice to date. Now open your eyes. Open your eyes. Amount invoice. This is your amount invoice. Okay, fifty four hundred. Fifty thousand four hundred is your amount invoice. So ninety six thousand simple is your contract asset. Ninety six thousand ninety six hundred is your contract asset. The answer is A. Yes. If examiner asks, you see these two things. See these two things. If examiner asks you the retention receivable, if examiner asks you a separate uh, one more requirement retention retention receivable. So yes, take the difference between this and this. Because you sent the invoice of fifty thousand four hundred to the customer, 
and customer just paid 40,000. So the difference of 10,400 is the retention receivable for sure. But as in this question, they have they are not asking this. So why to worry about it? Now listen, next question, next question. Be confident, be confident. This is not a big change. This is an easy change. This is an easy change, to be very honest. Now, Yilin Company entered into a contract which is expected to last for 24 months on 1st January X4. This is the starting date. The fixed contract price, this is relevant. Yes, your revenue, your total contract revenue is 5 million. So how will you calculate the revenue recognized to date? Use your brain. How will you calculate the revenue recognized to date? Very simple. Total contract revenue multiplied by the stage of completion. Total contract revenue multiplied by, by the stage of completion. Come on. At 30th September X4, the cost incurred to date is 1.6 million and the remaining cost to complete is 2.4 million. So that means total estimated cost is 4 million. See, cost incurred to date plus cost to complete cost incurred to date plus cost to complete this makes total estimated cost which is 4 million okay now yelling company measures the satisfaction of performance obligation under the contract based on the percentage of the product project certified as completed at 30th september x4 the percentage the percentage as completed was 38 percent thank god it's ready made the state of completion is ready made now wait Revenue recognized to date is 5 million. 5 million means this multiply by how much percentage is stage of completion? 38%. So 5 million times 38%. Come on, do it. 5 million times 38%. 5 million times 38%. Yes. 1.9 million 1.9 million less amount invoiced okay less amount invoice look at here on 20th september x4 yelling company received a payment from the customer of 1.7 mil 4 mil 1.74 million which was equal which was equal to the amount invoiced today so yes in this question, amount received and amount invoice is same. So we just want amount invoice. We just want amount invoice because we because we want because we want this contract asset because we want this contract asset in the requirement. So it is one point seven four million. One point seven four million. Now you can calculate the difference. It should be. I think 160,000, yes. 160,000 is the contract asset. 160,000 is the contract asset. So simple, it's very simple. Nothing to worry about. You guys were panicking because the questions in the old kit is different. Now, this question I have taken from Kaplan kit, but I just added one few, one, one thing in that, one thing in that, right? Okay. 
I may I amended that question with the latest requirement. Now, Severe Company entered into a contract to construct an asset for a customer during the year and identified the performance obligation as one which is satisfied over time. Severe Company recognized progress towards the completion using an output method. Output method means output method means students output method means work certified to date divided by contract price into 100 output method means work certified to date divided by contract price into 100 now use your brain what is the work certified this 600,000 is the work certified to date divided by contract price divided by contract price which is 1 million times 100 work certified to date divided by contract price times 100 this is the formula we all know this so it's 60 percent okay so your stage of completion is 60 percent your stage of completion is 60 percent now again what is the requirement what is the requirement what is the requirement see the requirement is contract asset again the requirement is my dear student contract asset okay so now how do you calculate contract asset you simply write revenue recognized to date, which is how do we calculate the revenue recognized? Total revenue, total revenue, total price multiply by the stage of completion, which is 600,000 less amount invoiced, less amount invoiced to date. And I have already told you that in the new questions, you will get the amount invoice. See in this question, this is part of question. See, this is the question. So amount invoiced is 500,000. So that means finally your contract asset will be 100,000. Contract asset will be 100,000. This, this will be your answer. Contract asset will be 100,000. Contract asset will be 100,000. Okay. So I have solved four questions in front of you. I think that's more than enough. This is how we have to do. This is how we have to do. I think in the article, the article which was published by the examiner for this change, they have solved one question or some, but these four questions are enough. So if you do it properly, and if you know the how to, how to do it, you can, you can score good in it. Okay. So be confident. And don't worry about it. Take care and best of luck for your exams. And don't waste your time now. Each and every hour, each and every minute is very important. Take care. Best of luck.